On the second day of Reading 375, we'll be having a concert for Reading at RMHS Performing Arts Center. Um, I'm here with Bob Beckman and Bill Enslow, who are very kindly running this event for us. It's going to be one of one of the, the biggest events that I think we have this year. So if, can you walk us through the program a little bit? Absolutely. Sure. Uh, we're very excited to be presenting this program for the town. Um, so many, there are so many arts groups in the town. Mm -hmm. This gives a chance for people to really show off their talent for everyone. Uh, the Act One starts with the um, Reading um, Singers and uh, under the direction of Beth Mosier. Great. And then that's followed by um, the Reading Symphony Orchestra under the direction of George Ogata. Mm -hmm. And they do do um, one number together. Great. Which is oh, nice. good. Yeah, as a special thing for the 375th. Yeah. Um, Act Two is followed by, is um, starting with uh, Lindsay McGovern. She's a graduate of Reading Memorial High School mm -hmm. and Salem State University where she uh, graduated for a degree in dance. Oh, great. Yeah, and she's doing a dance program. Excellent. And Margaret Sweeney, who is a Reading High graduate, is singing to her performance. So oh, she's wow. dancing to so a, a live duo. song. Oh, yeah, that's great. Nice. It's going to yeah. be nice. Yeah. Um, do you want to talk about Colony Chorus, Bob? Sure. Colonial Chorus is going to put on a couple skits from their recent show, Annie. Yeah. So a nice little uh, couple songs from that, mm -hmm. uh, maybe five or so minutes. Uh, then we also have uh, Kate and Pat will be performing mm -hmm. a, a musical duo. Right. And Stephen Gordon. Stephen Gordon, who is a Reading High graduate who went to Syracuse University uh, studying musical theater, and now he performs all over the country. He lives oh, in wow. New York. And he's coming back to do two musical theater pieces. Excellent. So it's very, very, yeah. we're very excited for that. Um, and the Beat Heart Foundation. Um, Beat Heart Foundation is a great organization that um, deals with um, helping people with opioid mm -hmm. abuse. And um, their, oh, their, their program on June 22nd is yeah. Jams for Jake yeah, very at Birch popular. Meadow Field. Right. And that's going to be a yeah. great thing to look forward to. But they have a band coming to represent Beat Heart Foundation great. and yeah. to close out the entire concert. Yeah. The, the band is going to be doing some of uh, Jake Suzwa's uh, songs. Great. So from the old Pilcamio uh, group. Yeah. So I'm really looking forward to that. Should be really neat. Yeah. So how can folks get tickets? Uh, they can get tickets here at RCTV. Mm -hmm. Tickets are free. But you do need a ticket to get in. Right, because um, only you, a certain amount of seats in the, right. Right. the pack. I yeah. mean, <laughs> we're, we're assuming that it won't be sold out and that people will be able to come that day and mm -hmm. get tickets at mm -hmm. the door. So don't think that you can't come if you don't have a ticket ahead of time. But yeah. it will help us to keep track of how many people already have tickets sure. um, ahead of time. Sure. So yeah. that would be great. It'll be Saturday, June 1st, starting at 3 p.m. 3 p.m. Excellent. That yeah. sounds great. Um, so more information at Reading375.com. Everything's there where yes. the tickets will be sold. Um, and I believe that we'll also be we'll also have the tickets um, at other Reading 375 promo events up Correct. to the date. So yeah. Fantastic. Um, thank you both so much for coming. It's going to be really great. And thank I hope very well attended. I think, think it'll be great. I think yeah. it will be. Yes. Thank, thank you. Thank you.